Hi guys. Um, we're gonna do a little 20 minute core session. It's gonna be on the ground. Okay, so what we're gonna need is you're gonna need a blanket. You're gonna need your some weights, three to six pounds would be great. And we're also gonna need a block. And it's gonna be a little different today because we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna start with some spinal work. So remember the core is not just abdominals, although we will do some abdominal work today. The core is literally our whole torso. It also has to do with how we breathe. The core of the body, the first movement is our breath. And so in 20 minutes, we're gonna cover some spinal movements, some specific ab work for your core. Who doesn't want strong abdominals? But we're also understanding that the core includes our glutes and it includes breathing. <clears throat> Very important. Let's go ahead and begin. Let's begin in all fours, hands and knees. If you want extra padding under the knees, you can bring your blanket under your knees. Let's just spread the hands, and I just want you to rock a little bit forward on the hands, load them, and rock a little back. So our spines are long, and we're light on our bot, we're light on our hands as we walk, rock forward, and we're just really spreading and feeling some stretch almost in our hands. All right. And then I want you to flex your feet, rock back towards your feet, and then come forward. So now let's emphasize rocking back, kind of stretching through the toes. If it's too much for anyone, you can always just untuck the toes, okay? But we do want to try to get some of that toe flexion. It's really good for our toes. One more time. And find center. Let's untuck the toes, push down with the tops of the feet, round your spine. This is your exhale. You're going to inhale, flex the feet, roll through the spine into extension. Exhale, push down, round. Inhale, flex, extend. Feel the head and pelvis come towards each other in the front when you round. Feel the back of the head and the tail come together when you extend. Exhale. Inhale. You got one more. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend. And then find neutral. I'm going to go a little sideways. So a neutral spine is long. I want you to find a side bend towards your left. So my left rib and left hip are going to reach towards each other. I'm going to come through center. I'm going to go around to the right. My right rib and right hip come towards each other. Lengthening through center, and then I'm shortening my left side, and up and over, I'm shortening the right side. And it's a little tricky sometimes to get that hip and rib to move together. So one of the other sensations you can feel is the side body work. Those obliques, they can kick on. Notice which side is tighter. You'll also get a stretch. As I side bend to my right, I feel a stretch on my left. One more to the each way. <clears throat> Let's come back to center. Let's go ahead and take a little thread the needle, okay? So I'm gonna take my right hand, it's gonna come up, it's gonna thread through to the left. I'm sliding, I'm spiraling, keep the spine long. I get to press that left hand down and my left elbow bends a little bit. And I come back through center. When I come back up, I'm gonna face you. You're going to pull your right hand to your side, bring your shoulder on your back, and give me a little counter rotation, lifting that shoulder up, rolling the chest to the sky. And then exhale, rotate. Long spine. Inhale, counter rotate. Keep the hips back a little bit, knees a little wide. Exhale, spiral your shoulder blade around the rib cage to the left. Coming back up. We'll go one more, spiral through, come back up, and then we'll go to the other side. Take your left hand, spiral through to the right, long spine. It's not just about going to the floor, and then reach that, bring that shoulder head, reach your elbow, pull the elbow back. You're pushing that arm, the right arm down as you open up the left and then spiral through. So we're thinking spiral versus just fall to the ground. 
Can I get my shoulder blade around my ribs here? And then pull in all position. Spiral around. Pull in all position. Find your breath, make sure your neck doesn't get tight. Maybe shake the head a little bit. One more. And then come back to center. Let's walk, let's take a big step forward with your right hand, a big step forward with your left hand, and you're gonna slide the hips up and back and you're gonna drop your chest to the floor, maybe your forehead. And just take a breath here through the shoulders. I'd love if you could think about pulling yourself back a little bit, your hands stay planted. Take a breath, maybe come up onto your fingertips, lifting the palms off the ground. One more breath, letting that mid back hang forward. And then just rolling up, coming to hands and knees again. You're gonna come down to your left forearm. You're gonna bring your knees a little closer together. We're gonna keep our, our belly button facing the floor as we bring that right leg up to the sky. I'm gonna find my hamstring and glute, the back of my leg. Once I find it, got it, nailed it. We're gonna go circle that leg out to the side. It's gonna come around as my knee comes towards my elbow and I come back in. I'm gonna take the leg up, find your hamstring glute, take it out to the side, circle it around, bring the knee to the elbow and lower down too. Once you have this, we're gonna do three more. I want you to just look down with your eyes so your neck doesn't get strained. Up and around and down. Last one, lift that leg up. Take it around, bring it down. And now slide your leg long behind you. Let's just get a long lift and lower down. Reach your toes away from you. You're breathing, feel the lift of the leg and the lower of the leg. Stay with your leg, feel the sensation in the back of the leg. Three more. Nice and easy, relax your shoulders. And I just focus on sensation in my leg when I lift, so my shoulders don't have to get tight. Last one, bring it up. Let's slide it all the way through into a pigeon. If pigeon doesn't work for you, you can lay on your back in a figure four. You're up on your fingertips, you're gonna lift it up. I'm letting this hip just drop. I'm pushing the ground away, I'm an extension. And I'm gonna have you rock a little side to side. Making your way down over your leg, whatever feels good to you. Make your way over your leg. Woo! Resting wherever you meet, whenever you meet your edge, that's where you're going to rest. Take a breath. And then just make your way back up. We're not staying too long. Lift, tuck the back toes, press the ground away, and then just come back to hands and knees. Your same leg, the right leg is gonna go out to the side. You're gonna come down onto that left forearm again. I'm gonna use the side of my glute. I'm just gonna lift my leg up and lower down. One, two, keep easy. Three, we're just warming up the hips. Four, we're getting some hip work done, part of our core. Five, six, we're gonna hit all the spots. Seven, last one. Bring it up eight. Can you circle this leg long all the way around till it touches back behind on the left? Lift it back up, circle it around, bring it down. Now the goal here is to get really long through your leg. If, you're, if your flexibility mobility feels a little tight, just keep it small, keep it small. If you feel like you can go for it, really reach. You can go, the slower than controlled is really good when you're just Getting that mobility to start. We don't want to go too, too fast too soon. So take your time. You can always slow it down. One more time. Beautiful. Lower that leg. Keep it down. Foot is flat on the floor. Long spine. Let's slide back and forward. So you get that hip stretch. Keep the head long. Once again, once you know the exercise, I'd love if you could stop looking at the screen and just let your body move. Try to keep the spine long when you slide back. So the sits bones stay wide. 
pelvis stays wide. Last one. Beautiful. Come on in. We're going to repeat on the other side. So you're going to come down to your right forearm. Knees are close together. I have my weight kind of back on my shin. It's not forward too much, okay? I'm going to lift this left leg and just pause for a minute. My toe is pointed right now. Let's keep it pointed because I want just for a little change, right? We're going to really feel your hamstring glute. That's our goal here. I don't want to dump into my spine. My spine stays a little bit lifted so that my thigh is what's lifting. Okay, and then we're gonna go out to the side and around and in. We're doing five. Yep. Just this direction for now. Three, two more. Up and around and in. One more. Beautiful, and then stretch that leg long behind you. Really reach, 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 reach. We're gonna lower and then lift to feel the back of the leg. And I'd like to read almost feel like you're lifting, sliding right up through that inner thigh. So the inseam of your pant leg is lifting you up. Your little medial hamstring. Five, six, seven, last one, bring it up eight. And you're gonna slide it in for your pigeon or you're on your back in figure four. I'm pressing the ground away. Lift it up through my spine. I'm kind of sitting in this hip, stretching the spine, taking a breath. And then you're gonna just start to slide a little side to side as you move forward. All the way forward. Until you relax at the bottom just for a breath in this moment. Take a breath, take an inhale, take an exhale. Bring yourself back up, back to your all fours position, making that transition smooth for yourself. Then bring the leg out to the side, foot is down. Coming back down onto that right forearm, we're gonna lift and lower the leg one, eight times, two, Three, I'm leaning a little bit towards my left here. And seven and eight. Now let's go for the sweep, the swoop. Let's go up, sweep the leg all the way around and it touches down. Lift up, all the way around and down. One, lift. Two, we're gonna do five of these. Remember to make it Get your body, see what feels good. Last one. The next time you bring your leg up and around, lower it down, come back up to your hands and knees. Keeping your spine long, slide back till you get a little inner thigh stretch and then forward. Sits bones and pelvis wide. Spine long. <clears throat> Want two more. Last one. Coming forward. Bring the leg in. Come up to high kneeling. Just shake out your hands a little bit. I know we did a lot on your hands. We're going to grab your weights and we're going to go to our backs. Okay? So ha and have your block nearby as well. And then your weights on each side of you. I'm gonna roll down onto our backs. Your spine is long, you're gonna bend up those elbows. Now you have two options. You can keep the feet down, or I'm just get a little closer to you guys, um, or I can bring my legs to tabletop, okay? So I want you to decide what feels best on your back. Legs tabletop or stay on the ground. You're gonna press those weights up. Now, I wanna make sure my ribs are dropped, the chest is open. We're just gonna do a little bit of bending and stretching here. So I bend right the elbow, the, just to where the elbows are hovering off the ground and then I press. And I'm in a little square press. I'm, I'm having those weights right in alignment with my elbows. Chest stays open. See if you can feel the connection of your core with pressing the weights up. 
We'll go three, two, this time one, turn the weight, chin tucks in and reach towards your shins, curl up and then roll back down and curl and roll and curl. You're sliding up the shins, pulling back down. This time curl, stay up. You can always keep the head down if you need. Pull the weights, press the weights. Pull and press. Pull and press. Pull and press. Three more. Pull and press. One more. Pull and press. And then bend the elbows, lower the head down. Take the weights to your sides. Hands behind the head. Elbows scoop up. You're gonna hinge yourself up from the low ribs. You're gonna drop one leg and then the other. Three, four, maybe I reach my leg a little bit away from me. Only if you can keep your back flush to the ground, right? Start to lengthen those legs longer away from you. Maybe they start to go straight. You can always keep them bent if you need. Five, four, three, two, one, hug the knees into your chest, little rock on your back. Head floats down, legs float out. You're gonna externally rotate your legs, okay? Hands come behind the head. I'm gonna head float up. I'm externally rotating my right leg from deep inside my belly. My pelvis doesn't move, I'm gonna lift one. Two, three, four, Five, lower down, other side, one, two, three, four, five, lower down, lower the head down. Left arm lengthens behind you. I'm gonna parallel my legs, I'm gonna bring my right leg up, and I'm gonna reach for my right leg with my left hand, and then I go back down, but stay on that side. Up, reach, two, we're just doing five, three, four, last one, five, down we go, we switch sides, other arm goes out, I'm going to reach across to my left and down, one, pelvis stays pretty anchored, two, three, four, five, bend your legs, arms by your side, lift your hips up, lift on up, Pelvis under you, push your feet down. Feel the opening of the belly here. Take your arms behind you. You're gonna take an inhale. On the exhale, starting from your upper spine, roll down. Long exhale, all the way down. Inhale, arms come to your side. Exhale, lift up, lift the pelvis up. Inhale, take the arms behind you. You're going to use your whole exhale to roll down. Inhale, arms by your side. We'll do one more like this. Exhale, just lift to your bridge. Inhale, reach the arms back. Exhale, roll yourself down. Use your exhale the whole time. all the way down, big stretch, and then arms by your side. Hands on the belly. We don't have time for the block, guys. We will do that block stuff next time. 20 minutes goes fast, but it feels so good, okay? Just take a minute, bring your hands on the belly. Just take a breath into the belly here. Let the breath fill belly and then chest. And then just exhale out the chest, out the belly. Inhale, belly, the chest, exhale out, one more, inhale, belly to chest, and then just a slow exhale, notice how the belly falls and the ribs fall. Just roll to the side, very nice work. Let me know how it goes here. And um, rub your hands. <laughs> and we will do another more 20 minute videos. 
and that way we can quickly, you can jump into class and you can quickly jump out of class and it feels good and you get the work done. All right, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.